everybody. We're here with our dear friend, John Oliver. Um, uh, this big year, the big soccer, big soccer summer. Yeah, yeah. sure, if you want and to use that word, yeah. It was an excellent season for football. That, thank you, yes, thank you. It was, it was very good. And for, and for you, yes, for the U.S. in particular. U.S. team. Yes, U.S. Fantastic. team. A magnificent result. One World Cup, uh, br br brilliant. And but but uh, but just as important to you, or perhaps even more so. Yeah. Your team, Liverpool. Yes. We won the Champions League. And what's that? Now, what does that mean? The it, Champions it, it's League. It's the Champions League. We're the champions of Europe. The and champions it was, of Europe. Uh, it was uh, um, amazing. Absolutely amazing. That uh, they're, they're a wonderful team, Liverpool, with a very charismatic manager. And what's your connection to Liverpool? My whole family's from Liverpool. But not you. Not me. No. Okay. No. You get ground. <laughs> You get grandfathered in. The one thing I couldn't do in my whole life was support any team other than Liverpool. That you, can do have... anything, you can do anything with your career. Anything. Yeah, marry Any who you want. Anything. You just have to support Liverpool. And I'm absolutely passing that down onto my children now. <laughs> They'll have a lot of choices in life. And that will me, not be one of tell them. Me what's go tell me what's going on here. Oh, yeah. So they brought the... Because they're doing a pre-season tour uh, of America, and so they brought the European Cup to my office. And that is about as happy as I ever get. <laughs> it was absolutely magic. I, I, texted, I, te I texted that photo to my wife, and she responded, that's the happiest I've ever seen you in a photo. <laughs> and, and, and I'm afraid she's right. <laughs> Wedding oh, pictures don't match? Oh, this, this is more exciting. <laughs> Also, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not how you're supposed to lift a sporting trophy, but I think <laughs> all sports would be better if that was the case. Not to lift it, lift it, it above your head. Is it actually heavy? Does it Give feel it substantial? It Does was, it feel good? It was heavy, but you have to factor in my upper body strength, so it might be light. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Um, how early does your love of Liverpool go? It goes down since I was a kid, since uh, first coldness and thought. Since what? Since my first thoughts as a, oh, okay. as a child. It was, oh, oh I, better, I, I better support Liverpool or, or I'll anger father. <laughs> <laughs> Was that a frequent concern? <laughs> sure, Poss yeah, possibly, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me, I, need, I need some uh, uh, UK uh, political uh, advice or knowledge. Can you, can you give me a little bit of that? Uh, sure, what do you want to know? It it's looks not like going great. <laughs> that's, that, yeah. that, that's the kind of nutshell version of it for mm -hmm. you. It's, it's, it's chaotic and it's about to get worse. And I'm, because I'm, I'm not, in some ways, I'm kind of off the caring about what happens with Brexit train because it's just taken so long for yes, anything to happen. Yeah. I'm like, let me know yeah. when it all implodes or doesn't happen, yeah, whatever. That's fair. But I'm interested in who the next prime minister is uh -huh. going to be because the, the leading guy right now, if correct me if I'm wrong, is a guy named Boris Johnson. Correct. Tell me about him because he looks like a failed. Clone mm. of Donald Trump. He looks like right. they tried to clone Donald Trump with like yeah. a toenail clipping. Yes, and it didn't quite yeah. take. And the, what's the, his what's his deal? To, to say he's like a failed clone of Donald Trump is perfect because it's an insult to both of them somehow. <laughs> that, that's why I like it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll see. I guess he's likely to become prime minister. But what's next his week. deal? Like, what's what's how, what's, his what's he deal? known for? Uh, I mean, uh, like entitlement from an early age, a kind of. Deep, deep, white hot ambition pulsing through his life, no real principles to name of any kind. Uh huh. A kind of. Cartoon... And what about Boris Johnson? What's he like? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's the thing. They are like super, super, superficially, they are similar. You know, they are. I believe the term is super cadrafragilistically. That's correct. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but they're, but they're like they're different in meaningful ways, and yet the, the end result is the same. It's like it's like saying, what, what do you want to eat for dinner? A bowl of <laughs> or a bowl of screws? You know, they're both awful, and they'll hurt you in different ways. Mm. <laughs> now there's usually there was a dust up, uh, it, there was a dust up kind of in the press, and then in between politicians because these uh, cables, diplomatic cables. Yeah. I love the term diplomatic cable, by the way. Yeah. The, uh, the, the British ambassador to the United States, a guy named so Kim, Kim Durock. De yeah, Durock. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was DeRoche or Durock. Durock. Kim Durock, uh, very polite guy, yeah. very diplomatic. Diplomatic. Dipl and British in... diplomat, so but... he can really, really contain all feelings right. about anything and just <laughs> calcify them into a diamond. 
And then he, and then he, but in these cables, he was very frank and said, "This guy's an idiot. Yeah, and he's just trying cables. to blow up the world for just for." Just because he's bitter about uh, Barack Obama and yeah. stuff like that. I mean, that. I would argue that's still within the language of diplomacy for what he could have said. But yes, yeah, still, yes, he did say that, but, but it wasn't meant for you know uh, public consumption. Public consumption. Yeah. So um, he resigned. Yep. Boris Johnson did not support. He didn't. No, he hung him out to dry. Okay. Yeah. What does that? What does that presage? Of of what uh, Trump and and Johnson's relationship is going to be like, or who might take that place? Uh, who knows? Right? Who knows? Because uh, you know Boris Johnson has <laughs> talked most people on earth himself. He's he's said that Trump is an idiot, so he's kind of accusing the Kim de Rock of uh, Sir Kim. But if you say anything nice about Trump, he forgives you. It's all over. That's like, right. Lindsey Graham said horrible things that's, about that, Donald Trump. That's true. Yes, I mean Boris Johnson has no principles whatsoever, so he is like a kind of moral windsock. He will, uh, <laughs> he will go whichever way the wind is blowing. Mm. Um, sadly, we have to take another commercial break. I'm but happy if you to can do stick that. around, and you stick that. around, we'll be right back with more John Oliver. Yeah.